Viper is a professional level metal detector designed for the serious prospector or treasure hunter wanting both power and control over detection settings and results visualization. Viper features long range locator technology that's ideal for remote target detection. Its unique ionic field detection technology excels at finding objects from ancient burials. Brand new Smart Detect technology based on enhanced pulse induction technology is perfect for finding tiny objects including gold nuggets, coins, jewelry and metal relics. Viper's Mega Detection makes it a powerful and affordable choice for professional prospectors throughout the world. Viper Search System Smart Detect System, Automatic Long Range Locator System, Manual Long Range Locator System, Control Long Range Locator System, Ionic System, Bionic System, Package Contents. One, Main Unit System Box. Two. Intelligent Multi-Transceiver Unit, IMTU. 3. PS-36 Search Coil. 4. PS-28 Search Coil. Base Connection Unit for Search Coils. Lithium-Ion Battery. Higher Stick, Shaft. Middle Stick, Shaft. Lower stick, shaft, armrest, holder, two long range antennas, headphones, accessories box, including MGS screw and nut, two of each, washer for plastic stick, shaft, armrest, holder, screws, Additional parts. Universal power adapter. Headphones cable. Battery charger, 220 volt. Panel buttons explanation. On off button. Two, back button, backward. Three, okay. Enter button. Four, main menu button. Five, control settings arrow buttons. Right, left, up, down. Device settings. Power on. To turn on the main unit, just press the power button. Power off. To turn off the main unit, just press the power button. When confirmation message appears, choose yes to confirm or no to cancel. Adjust settings. You can set the device settings by selecting settings from the main menu. Power. Use this option to save power when using the device. With this option, the battery lifetime can be increased by at least 50%. Depends on the search system and the type of connected probe. Date and time. Use this option to set device date and time. To set the date and time, follow these steps. 1. Use the left right arrow buttons to select the date and time item. Then press OK. 2. Use the up down arrow buttons to select, then press set date, and then OK. 3. In this window, use the arrows to set the correct date, then after setting each one, press the OK button to save. 4. After adjusting the settings, press the back button. Time. 1. While in the date and time setting menu, use the up-down arrow buttons to select the set time option. 
then press OK to save. Two, in this window, use the arrow buttons to set the correct time. Then after setting each field separately, press the OK button to save. Three, after adjusting the settings, press the back button. Security settings. To activate the device's security settings, you must click on the security lock option within the security settings. After activating the previous option, the security lock code can be set by the Set Security Code option. When operating the device for the first time, the device will ask you to enter the security code, device password, which you'll get from the manufacturer or through the authorized distributor of your device in your country. The security lock option can be locked in the device so that the device does not require the entry of the code after each operation. Reset. You can use this menu to reset device settings. There are three types of resets. Reset settings. With this option, all settings in the device will return to their defaults, but you will keep the information saved in the memory factory settings. With this option, all settings in the device will revert to the factory defaults and the memory data will be erased. Clear the memory. With this option, the memory data will be erased. After selecting the reset option, the confirmation window will appear. By clicking yes in this window, the reset will be done. Screen. You can control screen settings using this menu. Sleep mode. By turning on this option, the device's screen will go to sleep in the absence of any activity. Screen brightness. User can control screen brightness using this option. Language. The device software interface is available in 12 languages, namely 1. English. 2. German. 3. Spanish, 4. French, 5. Italian, 6. Russian, 7. Turkish, 8. Chinese, 9. Hebrew, 10. Urdu, 11. Arabic, 12. Persian. To change the language, the user has to go to the Language tab, then choose Change Language using the up-down arrow buttons, then press OK. Then choose the preferred language using the left-right arrow buttons, and then press OK. Sound. User can control the device's sound status using this menu. General volume level. Use this option to control the sound of the whole device. Button pad volume. Use this option to control the button pad sound volume. Scan volume. Use to select the sound setting you need to change and then press on, then use to change the sound volume. Info. This screen includes all device information. One, device version. Two, software version. Three, device model. Four, serial number. 5. Country of Manufacturer After completing all the setup processes, the following window will appear on the screen. Automatic Long Range Locator System, Auto LRL It is an advanced search system that covers a large scan distance within a very wide scan area within the specified land. This system automatically searches for buried metal targets within the scan area according to the settings that are set in advance. This will reduce the search area as much as possible, saving effort, time, and cost for the prospector. Device Installation 1. Connect the antennas into the sockets in the device as follows. Note, 
Make sure the lock of the antenna unit is closed so that they are stable during use. Two, connect the IMTU probe to the device. Three, use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start using the automatic long-range locator system, select this system from the main menu and then press the OK button. After System Selection, a screen will appear which includes a couple of tabs to set the settings for the system which are distance. The device can search for targets for a distance of up to 3,000 meters. And the user can change the distance value with the up-down arrow buttons. Depth. It represents the maximum depth that the device will search for targets within the range from 0 to 100 meters. And you can choose from predefined values using the arrow buttons. How to use. After the setup is completed, hold the device as follows and make sure that you're holding the device fixed to your body without moving. Then stand in the search area and press the OK button on the keypad to start the scanning process. When you press the OK button on the keypad, the following screen will appear which includes a graduated bar graph made of rectangles with a red line in the middle. This red line is the center of the scanning process, or degree zero, and the user then directs the device to the front side. During the scan process, the user stands at a fixed point and moves the device only from the center to the right side slowly, according to the indicator at a rate of 90 degrees. When reaching the far right, the user begins to return at the same speed from the far right to the center. Immediately after the indicator and the user reach the center, the indicator will start to go to the left side, and the user will also direct the device to the left side according to the indicator also at a rate of 90 degrees. When reaching the far left, the user begins to return at the same speed from the far left to the center. In this system, the user covers 180 degrees from the perimeter around him without moving from his place, only moving the device according to the indicators on the screen. Report. After completing the search in the area, you can click on Next by pressing the OK button to move to the results report. Using this report will help determine whether or not this area contains any valuable target. You can see four types of targets in this screen. Gold, silver, iron, and diamonds. The percentage of each shows the probability ratio of the discovered target, and through it, the nature of the target can be known. Control Long Range Locator System. The Control Long Range Locator System is one of the new technologies and important features that have been integrated into the device, which enables the user to specify the exact value of the search frequency in millihertz units, 
to search for a specific type of metal or target made of a specific mixture of metals, thus ensuring more accurate results when searching using this system. The user can set multiple values and options related to the search. Device Installation 1. Connect the antennas into the sockets in the device as follows. Note, make sure the lock of the antenna unit is closed so that they are stable during use. Two, connect the IMTU probe to the device. Three, Use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start control long range locator system, select this system from the main menu and then press the OK button. After system selection, a screen will appear which includes a couple of tabs to set the settings for the system, which are Soil Type. Using this option, the user can specify the type of soil in the area in which he wants to search. The available soil types that have been added to this device are Rock Neutral Soil Mixed Soil Metallic Clay Sandy Mineral Chalky Salty Frequency. The user can manually adjust the search frequency value according to a specific target type using this option. Frequency values range from 250 Hz to 18,000 Hz. Use the arrow buttons to change the value and press OK. Note. The user can change the frequency value by 1000 Hz by pressing the up, down arrow buttons. Or 250 Hz by pressing the left, right arrow buttons. Note, every 1000 Hz is equal to 1 kHz. For example, if the user chooses 5000 Hz, it means 5 kilohertz. Distance. The user can specify the distance to search within the search process. This means that the user can search within a radius of this distance, and this distance starts from 250 to 3,000 meters. The distance value can be changed using the left-right arrow buttons and pressing OK. Note. The user can change the distance value by 250 for every press by pressing the up-down arrow buttons and by 50 meters by pressing the left-right arrow buttons. Depth It is the value of the maximum depth that the device can search. The depth value can be set by choosing a value from a set of predefined values within the range from 0 to 50 meters. Note, the user can change the depth value by 10 meters by pressing the up-down arrow buttons. And by 1 meter by pressing the left-right arrow buttons. Scan. 
After completing the previous settings, select the scanning tab using the arrow buttons, right and left. Then press the OK button above the Start Scan button. How to use. After the setup is completed, hold the device as follows and to make sure that you're holding the device fixed to your body without moving. Then stand in the search area and press the OK button on the button board to start the scanning process. When you press the OK button on the button board in the previous window, the following screen will appear, which includes the following elements. Compass indicates the geographical direction of the device, north, south, east, or west. Antennas indicator. It is a semicircular indicator. The zero in the middle expresses the value of the angle of the inclination of the antennas, according to the direction to the right, or left within a range from zero to 90 degrees to the right and 90 degrees to the left. Indicator arrow. It is a red indicator that moves according to the angle of inclination of the antennas and indicates the specified value on the semicircular indicator. Alignment tool. It is a color graded indicator from top to bottom and the zero point in the middle of it expresses the angle of inclination of the device from the horizon and the correct values are shown in green. During the scanning process, the antennas will move left and right according to the target being detected. The user should change his direction according to the direction of the antennas. Every movement will appear on the screen to make it easier for the user. The user must only follow the movement of the indicator arrow to get the correct direction. keeping the device in a correct position with respect to the horizon. Manual Long Range Locator System Manual LRL In the Manual Long Range Locator System, the search settings are adjusted manually by the user according to his preferences before the start of the search process. and many options can be customized. Device installation. One, connect the antennas into the sockets in the device as follows. Note, make sure the lock of the antenna unit is closed so that they are stable during use. Two, connect the IMTU probe to the device. Three, Use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start control Long Range Locator System, select this system from the main menu and then press the OK button. After System Selection, a screen will appear which includes a couple of tabs to set the settings for the system, which are Target. It expresses the type of target to be searched for and can choose from predefined types. Silver, Platinum, Iron, Gold Veins, Gold Treasure, 
gold ore, gemstone, diamond, copper, cavity, bronze. The target type is chosen by using the left-right arrow buttons and pressing OK. Distance. The user can specify the distance to search within the search process. This means that the user can search within a radius of this distance. And this distance starts from 250 to 3,000 meters. The distance value can be changed using the left-right arrow buttons and pressing OK. Note, the user can change the distance value by 250 for every press by pressing the up-down arrow buttons and by 50 meters by pressing the left-right arrow buttons. Depth. It is the value of the maximum depth that the device can search. The depth value can be set by choosing a value from a set of predefined values within the range from 0 to 50 meters. Note, the user can change the depth value by 10 meters by pressing the up-down arrow buttons. And by 1 meter by pressing the left-right arrow buttons. Scan. After completing the previous settings, select the scanning tab using the arrow buttons, right and left. Then press the OK button above the Start Scan button. How to use. After the setup is completed, hold the device as follows. And to make sure that you're holding the device fixed to your body without moving, then stand in the search area and press the OK button on the button board to start the scanning process. When you press the OK button on the button board in the previous window, the following screen will appear, which includes the following elements. Compass indicates the geographical direction of the device, north, south, east, or west. Antennas indicator. It is a semicircular indicator. The zero in the middle expresses the value of the angle of the inclination of the antennas, according to the direction to the right or left within a range from zero to 90 degrees to the right and 90 degrees to the left. Indicator arrow. It is a red indicator that moves according to the angle of inclination of the antennas and indicates the specified value on the semicircular indicator. Alignment tool. It is a color graded indicator from top to bottom, and the zero point in the middle of it expresses the angle of inclination of the device from the horizon, and the correct values are shown in green. During the scanning process, the antennas will move left and right according to the target being detected. The user should change his direction according to the direction of the antennas. Every movement will appear on the screen to make it easier for the user. The user must only follow the movement of the indicator arrow to get the correct direction. Keeping the device in a correct position with respect to the horizon. Ionic system. The Ionic search system has been developed according to a completely new technology, which is the first of its kind in metal detectors and represents a major improvement over the traditional system that existed before, where the new technology allows for more accurate detection of ion fields resulting from metal targets buried underground thanks to the intelligent multi-transceiver unit, INTU, that ensures accurate reception and processing of signals with the ability to control some of the signal settings on the screen to ensure accurate results. 
device installation. One, connect the IMTU probe to the device. Note, make sure that the antenna's unit lock is closed, so the unit must be stable during use. Two, use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start using, select the Ionic system from the main menu. Then press the OK button. After the selection, a screen will appear which includes the following elements. Signal Sensitivity It is a signal sensitivity indicator presented in the form of a circular indicator whose value is in percentages. During the search process, according to scanning the surrounding area in search for targets, the ionic system will make a special sound that represents the target's ability and is related to the value of the distance between the user and the target. The user can change the sensitivity value at any time to be able to analyze the resulting sound, whose intensity changes according to the target distance. Gain. It is a value that represents the signal strength and is represented in the form of a circular indicator whose value is also represented in percentages. User can control signal strength using this option. To set the device to detect large targets, decrease this value and increase this value for detection of small targets. To select and change the two previous indicators, use the left-right arrow buttons, then press OK. To change the value, use the up-down arrow buttons, and then OK. How to use? After the setup is complete, be sure to assemble the device exactly as shown in the assembly part of this manual. Then hold the device like the image below. During this system, we press the Start button to reset. Then we move the device slowly up and down with the same speed, while the device is slightly lowered towards the ground. In the case of a close signal, it will appear on the ionic indicator on the screen. The indicator increases with the increase in the signal strength, or as we approach the target. In conjunction with the issuance of a gradual acoustic alert, the increase in the signal strength, the indicator appears in red if there are metals. And the indicator appears in blue if there are spaces. To make sure the signal is correct, we do a reset by pressing the start button once, but in a different direction than the one from which the signal was picked up the first time. This step is repeated more than once. If the signal continues to appear, this means that the signal is completely correct. Warning. You should not reset the signal from the side because it will lose the signal and the device will deal with it as a normal level of the signal. Bionic system. This search system is similar to the Ionic search system in terms of working method and relying on the IMTU unit to perform the scan. The difference, however, is that here, Ionic signals are captured from a specific metallic object, for example, from gold. Then, the search is directed towards capturing ionic signals similar to metal objects buried underground within the surrounding area. That means in the ionic search system, the search is random and free. But in the bionic system, the search is directed according to a specific target type. 
that is, according to predefined signals. Device installation. One, connect the IMTU probe to the device. Note, make sure that the antenna's unit lock is closed, so the unit must be stable during use. Two, use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start using, select Bionic System from the main menu. Then press the OK button. After the selection, a screen will appear which includes the following elements. Signal Sensitivity It is a signal sensitivity indicator presented in the form of a circular indicator whose value is in percentages. During the search process, according to scanning the surrounding area in search for targets, the ionic system will make a special sound that represents the target's ability and is related to the value of the distance between the user and the target. The user can change the sensitivity value at any time to be able to analyze the resulting sound, whose intensity changes according to the target distance. Gain. It is a value that represents the signal strength and is represented in the form of a circular indicator whose value is also represented in percentages. User can control signal strength using this option. To set the device to detect large targets, decrease this value and increase this value for detection of small targets. To select and change the two previous indicators, use the left-right arrow buttons, then press OK. To change the value, use the up-down arrow buttons, and then OK. Circular Indicator It is an indicator in the form of four overlapping circles of different diameter, with four small circles on the outside of the second circle. Signal Strength Indicator It is a horizontal indicator made up of vertical rectangles whose heights and colors change according to the strength of the signal and the proximity of the targets. How to use After the setup is complete, be sure to assemble the device correctly. Hold the device like the next figure. Point the IMTU head of the metal object of the model target type you want to find and then press the start button of the device to set the target type. By using this system, we move the unit of the ionic system in all directions slowly. In case there was a close signal, it will appear on the indicator. The indicator in this system will appear stably in the event of a field similar to the field that was measured in conjunction with a sound alert indicating the target. In the event that the signal appears, it can be confirmed by returning to the first metal object and repeat the operation again. Note. There is no reset in this system, so in any point which we press the start button will be the new field on which to match. Smart Detect System Smart Detect System is a perfect choice for prospectors searching for gold nuggets. Small relics, jewelry, coins, and other metal types. Developed with enhanced technology, it features two search coils, PS36 
and PS28 to offer best performance in all terrain and soil types and the ability to differentiate between different types of metals. Device installation. One, assemble the search coil corresponding to the device's mode you want to work with. PS36, PS28 search coil and the lower shaft using the specified screw and nut. Two, insert the middle shaft into the upper shaft. Note, make sure that the antennas unit are locked so that they are stable during use. Three, mounting the main unit on the holder. Place the device main unit on the device holder on the shaft. Fit the main unit and the holder rail in parallel position. Place the main unit on the holder rail. There is an option that users can use. This option helps position the device on the holder rail so that users can see the display clearly until you hear the lock pin sound. To suit the width of the main unit on the holder. One, loosen the screw on the holder counterclockwise. Two, fit the main unit to the preferred degree and close the screw again. Four, connect PS36, PS28 search coils cable to the base of the connector, the plug for probes. Five, connect the battery to the arm holder, armrest, with the battery clip in the specified position. 6. Connect the battery to the device. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. In this system, note that the installation method is similar to that of the pulse induction system. For additional information about the installation, please refer to the installation section of the pulse induction system. System Selection To start using the Smart Detect system, select Smart Detect system from the main menu and press OK. When performing a search using the Smart Detection system, there are two sub-modes corresponding to each search coil. The user can select the appropriate search mode while noting that different search modes require connecting the appropriate search coil. 1. Mode 1, PS36. Using the PS36 search coil, a search coil with a 36 cm diameter, to detect targets, the device display screen shows detection settings and options that can be set as follows. Calibration. Calibration can be performed by pressing the start button. For the most accurate results, the user should perform a calibration of the coils before starting the search. Detection mode. Choosing the detection mode is done by activating one of the three buttons corresponding to detection mode. They are 1. All metals. It is a general detection mode. By activating it, the device can receive signals from ferrous and non-ferrous metal targets. When a precious or non-ferrous metal is detected, the yellow, red gradient lines will be raised to the right of the indicator. When it detects an object of ferrous metal, the blue lines will be raised to the left of the indicator. Targets are distinguished by two different tones. Each of them expresses the type of the target, whether it's precious metal or not. The height of the lines represents the strength of the signal received from the object. Two, non-ferrous. By activating this detection mode, the device will filter the signals to receive only signals from non-ferrous metal objects, such as gold, silver, and copper, meaning that the device ignores the signals of ferrous metal objects. Three, ferrous. This detection mode is opposite to the previous mode where the device receives signals from ferrous metal targets only, such as iron, and ignores the signals of other non-ferrous metals. Sound. The user has the option to turn off or on the audible signals that come from the device's internal speaker. 
It's useful for when the user wants to determine the type of object using the digital display indicator without hearing the sound. Target ID Indicator The Target ID Indicator is a circular digital graphical indicator that displays results in the center of the circle with a number called the Digital Target Identifier, Target ID, that corresponds to a specific type of metal, such as gold. On each side of the circle are two symmetrical semicircular indicators made up of bars. They are shown in graduating colors from bottom to top, according to the strength of the object signal and the selected detection mode. In the all-metal detection mode, if the target is non-ferrous or precious metal, such as gold, the left semicircular indicator is activated and is shown in graduated colors from yellow to red. A ferrous target will activate only the right indicator and the color gradient is from green to blue. In non-ferrous detection mode, the two indicators are activated in graduated colors from yellow to red, and the number of colored bars will depend on the signal strength. If there are non-precious or ferrous targets in this option, a number will appear for the value of the precious metal, but without the rise of the indicator lines or hearing sounds. In the ferrous mode, the two indicators are activated in graduated colors, from green to blue, according to the signal strength. In the event that there are precious targets in this option, a number will appear for the value of the non-precious metal, but without the rise of the indicator lines or hearing sounds. Threshold. This option can control the audio threshold of the received signals which can be set according to the user's preference, either to hear the faintest of faint signals coming from very small targets, or to ignore it, to focus on hearing the signals of larger targets. That is, the more we raise the value, the unwanted signals coming from small targets are eliminated. The user can set the value between 1 and 10. The values are changed using the up-down arrow keys. Two. Mode 2, PS28. Use the PS28, a coil with a 28 centimeter diameter, to detect small targets. The device displays a screen that includes two vertical indicators on the sides and a graphical indicator in the middle. The explanation of these indicators is as follows. Sensitivity. The left vertical indicator determines the sensitivity level and the user can set it to one of nine levels. The higher the sensitivity value, the greater the sensitivity of the search coil to detect small targets at greater depth. Their value can be dialed down gradually to eliminate unwanted sounds. Threshold. It is a vertical indicator on the right side that determines the value of the audio threshold, and the user can set it to values from one to nine. The higher the value, the more likely the device is to signal the detection of smaller objects. Selecting lower values will result in signals from larger objects. Signal Indicator It is a graphical indicator in the middle of the screen, displaying a target ID number and FE, non-FE indicators. FE for ferrous objects, non-FE for non-ferrous precious objects. In addition to the graphical signal indicator is a set of circles with increasing diameters from top to bottom that light up based on the signal strength of the target that the search coil passes over. Ground calibration is done in this mode by pressing the start button. How to use. After the setup is complete, ensure the device is correctly and fully assembled. The user should begin by standing in the area to be scanned, holding the device in the following way. Start walking and moving the device slowly from side to side with the search coil parallel to the ground. Potential targets are represented by audio tones and shown on the device's display screen. 
changes are displayed on the device screen if there is any potential target. The device indicates the presence of a potential target by issuing an audio tone.